Welcome back guys, Automotive Inc. here. So I'm just gonna do a quick little ditty here on how you're going to do Uber and Lyft at Denver International Airport. So when you do pickups and drop-offs, if you don't know and you're new here, they don't really give you great direction. So you will be dropping off um, at, at level five on both west and east terminals. And there is kind of this little slick cut through. So if you end up dropping off and they send you a ride right away and you need to get back around, you don't need to go all the way out. You'll, you want to go through the other terminal real quick, but you want to go all the way back down to say Jackson Gap or whatever. So when you get through here, you are going to take the commercial gate access, guys. Now for drop-offs, the drop-off is going to be this far right lane. If you need to go do a pickup, it's going to be your far left lane. And then as soon as you turn that corner, you're going to make a strong left and go all the way out to Island 5. Island 5 is then designated with A, B, C, D, and F. As you can see here, your drop-offs are going to be labeled southwest, etc., and so on. Just watch out for pedestrians as you're going through here. Be super, super careful. But again, once you get to zone five, it will have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then when you have your pickup, it'll say pick up so-and-so at Island 5 zone blank. So just say it's zone H. You will cruise down to H and hopefully people are kind of moving and picking up and moving and going and stuff like that. You'll swing and, and grab your passenger. In addition to that, if your pickup is somebody that has special considerations or requests a curbside pickup, pay attention to the notes, you will be picking them up over here. Now that's not typical, but there are some times where those circumstances do arise. So just be aware of that. All right, guys, now when you get ready to leave out of zone uh, five or island five, you're gonna need to yield to all traffic all the way down. Now, once you leave, you do your pickup, and you're ready to leave, there is a sign up there that says airport exit. You're gonna to want to hang that uh, lane and head out of the airport. If you are in Terminal East and you need to get to Terminal West, you will then can actually jump over here. So if you miss the pickup in Terminal West, you can cruise to the east, come real quick, jump back on this, you'll be back in that terminal versus driving all the way down to Jackson Gap. Um, and so you'll just swing around here. Now there are at the commercial gates, are gonna be your far right lanes uh, when you're going to your terminal exit. So if you're going terminal east, you're gonna get into that. You'll see a big sign that says commercial vehicles. You'll see the bus and then you'll see the tiny little car next to it. That's us, if you will. Um, you can see it right there, commercial vehicles exit. You come through here. Now this is a fairly quick little merge, if you will. We drove through the drop off on the east terminal. This is identical here. So you're gonna need to get over as soon as possible, minding you that the speed limits are only about 10 mile an hour in this area. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna split off. Again, on the east terminal, we went through that, um, the drop off area, so I can show you this one. We're gonna cruise through the pickup area on this one, and then I will show you the little road uh, on the west terminal to zip back around to the east, kinda like we just grabbed from the east terminal coming over to the west. So when you come through here, you can see on the concrete, it's gonna say pickup, and then you'll see up there on the signs where it says, uh, Island five, zone five is shared ride at pickups. When you come around this corner, hang a sharp left, not hitting that, that barrier right there, but you're gonna come around here. You can see where everybody's breaking off and splitting off to go do their thing. And then, Guys, this little area where you'll first see this bus when we come around here, this is not, if that's wide open and you need to go all the way down to zone E, so you can see up there on the pillar where it says B, uh, A right there on that pillar, that is not for you to zip down this thing because mind you, um, I might be needing to get to five and if you're just gonna cruise through up there to pass everybody, that is not right. So just take turns, let people out when they're ready. Use your signal guys if you're in there to signal out. Um, watch for pedestrians if you cruise through about five mile an hour you'll find a place where you can duck in so if they say island five zone five uh zone f right there is where you're going to pick them up it's super easy guys to do that and then like i said when we come out of here i'm going to show you where it says yield so all right we'll let this guy go because he's coming out no matter what there's nobody behind me but apparently he just wants to get out of there nonetheless uh you can see the yield sign so um, it is kind of tricky. You're going to need to watch as you come around this corner. The bus in the next lane actually has the right-of-way. 
So they have the right of way over you. So basically if this was a stack, everybody down the line has, we are the last to have the right of way. So it's a little tricky, especially when it gets super busy. So this bus has to yield to that shuttle. And then the drop off zone right there, uh, Island one, um, they they have the right of way. So you can see how he stopped and it's kind of jacking everything up. Again, as people get used to it, it just is what it is. So this shuttle will come zipping in. So it, it's kind of a pickle. Just, you know, take turns, pay attention, you'll be good in here. So right here is the Terminal East sign. So if you wanted to get over the Terminal East real quick or go around again, you'll jump into the Terminal East lane. That'll take you around the top where we just came in. Now, I will forewarn you guys that if you are properly marked with your Lyft or Uber sign and you go to the typical, the normal non-rideshare app drop-off areas, you may get in trouble. You potentially probably could get a ticket. Um, I haven't had any issues the few times that I went up there and dropped people off just because it was they were in a hurry and they asked if they could be dropped off there. I just cruised through there. But I would definitely not make a habit of that. Um, and that's going to be the same for almost every airport. They're going to have probably designated areas for um, rideshare people to pick up. Now, as you come out of DIA, whatever terminal, guys, the speed limit's 45. And I will tell you this much, there is a lot of issues with people speeding. So there is a heavy law enforcement presence, which, you know, God bless the police officers. Hopefully they can be safe. And as long as we're all doing the speed limit, then they're not gonna pay any attention to us. Um, you will not have to pay to go into those gates. So the commercial vehicle gates, you will not have to uh, go in or pay or anything like that. You'll roll up to them, the gate will go up, you'll drive through, they come back down. It's one vehicle at a time, so just keep that in mind, guys. Um, other than that, it's pretty pretty straightforward, but when I was getting into this, there was really not a definitive, um, you know, they kind of just told you this zone here, zone whatever. And if you're just not really paying attention or you're not familiar with the airport, that can be overwhelming. So this video is really just to help the people that are kind of new one to coming out here as a rideshare um, provider and and just make your day easier and, and better. So that'll kind of walk you through. Hopefully that helped guys. I have a ton of great videos coming up. So if you wouldn't mind smashing the subscribe button for me, give me a like and make sure you come back for more great content. Uh, whether it's full videos or short videos, uh, just have a lot of content and got some great stuff when it comes to Lyft and Uber, um, some recommended items I would recommend doing and some tips and tricks to try and make the best out of your day of driving. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Automotive Inc. Smash the like and the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.